Hey, look at that, everyone. We finally have a sunny day out. Haven't seen that for quite a while. That's awesome. Good way to start this morning. So it truly is morning here, by the way. It's like 11.30, I think, your local time it is. So with that being said, um, just the other day, I just received some uh, disturbing news from my friend Brian Barcheck, you guys. And this just really, really broke my heart to hear this because you guys know almost, it's not even been a full year yet, but several months ago, I told you guys about my big brother that battled cancer for like almost exactly a full year and unfortunately he did not survive it um now just recently brian announced on his channel just the other day that he was just diagnosed with pediatric pancreatic cancer you guys and this just really is very very struggling year so far for 2023 and um you guys know that for several years now when I've been doing YouTube content, Brian's like the one person that I look up to when it comes to filming, you know, and doing wildlife stuff, you know, and all this kind of combination. And he's really inspired me even more also to start collecting more reptiles too and attending like reptile shows or, you know, start traveling more again. Because for several years, we didn't really travel out of state a whole lot. And for the last couple of years, we've been doing that. And it's been really fun. And now just recently, I'm hearing this this really disturbing news it just really hurts me you guys it really does because Brian has not only has he inspired me but he's inspired a thousands of other people out thousands of other animal lovers like me out there throughout the country to get involved you know in showing the positive side of wildlife a lot and this is just it almost feels like we're gonna lose another Steve Irwin it feels like that but this is just as devastating, you guys. Now, Brian just recently said he doesn't know exactly how bad it is, but hopefully it's not as it's bad as it seems. So, um, only we can do is just hope and pray that he can beat this, this cancer, you guys. So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to leave the link to a Facebook group for only people that do look up to Brian only in a positive way. So, with that being said, you guys... Uh, I just hope Brian can beat this thing because he, he's just been such a great person. I've met him a couple times. He's been a great guy. He really does love animals. He really does. And I I feel like there's not that many other people out there that I look up to. And Brian's one of those very few that I do. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to try and stay positive for today's video. And uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get other animal work done and keep me a little bit distracted. So with that being said, you guys... Feel free to like and subscribe if you guys want to do that. So, in this video, you guys is going to be dedicated to Brian. So, with that being said, you guys, let's just go ahead and get this job done. Okay, so I think we have a interesting event happening here with Ariel. Apparently, when I opened her cage, she just came right up towards the screen top there, and I think she now figures out what's happening. So, and obviously, I got the food thawing right here too, right near her cage. So she probably smells it. I gotta get her tons too. Hold on a second here, and we'll go ahead and give her what she wants. All right, Ariel. Since you've been a good girl, I'm gonna go ahead and give you your meal. <laughs> Hold on a second here, folks. Let's see if I can actually uh, get this off the paper towel here for you. All right, let's try this again. All right, come and get it, girl. Right in front of you, girl. Go get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. No, 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 she literally was craw literally crawling out of the cage there. I gotta replay that again, you guys. That was just too crazy. I cannot believe she had the guts to do that. You are one a crazy monkey, you know that? You're crazy. But yeah, I still love her. She's just so pretty. 
That is just absolutely wicked, you guys. I gotta watch that. Fo re I gotta replay that, you guys. Let's replay that again. So my next Ronin you guys saw, I had two on the paper towel. You guys probably guess who it's gonna be next here, and um, she's already coming right up to the glass. You guys, she's figured it out. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? You just sunbathing? Yeah? You sunbathing? Yeah, I got you some lunch. You hungry? All right, girl. Just give me one moment. She is definitely hungry. She's just literally giving me that, like, begging look at my face. She's, like, begging. That's just so cute of her. Oh, yeah, I see you now. I see you. And you see me. All right. Can we open this? And uh, hopefully uh, she doesn't try to leap out of the cage like a couple times she did before. Because I don't want her to do that again. All right. Here we go, guys. All right, all right, Lucy. Enjoy your dinner, girl. Enjoy it while it lasts. That actually did go a little smoother than I thought, people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought first she was gonna come take a big leap right out of her cage, but not this time. Not this time, girl. You ain't gonna fool your dad more than once. Fool me once, shame on me. No, I, I think that goes the other way around. Isn't it? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is that how it goes? I, I don't know. Anywho, though, I'll just let her enjoy her dinner and uh, just go ahead and continue on. See what left I got left on my to-do list, y'all. Okay, well, I'm going to be completely honest with you people. For so many years growing up when I was a little kid, you know, I really was, I didn't even realize it until recently that my whole life growing up, I was surrounded by animals, no matter what kind they were, whether if it was like cats or dogs or even some exotic other animals as well. And it really never dawned on me that I felt like that was like a call sign to like telling me that this is what you're destined to be is an animal lover, you know, and kind of like educate people on some certain animals, especially whether it's like snakes or all different types of reptiles out there to let people know the truth about them and that they're just completely misjudged what's at all, you guys. So it's almost like kind of like that saying, never judge a book by its cover. And that's kind of how it is with these animals. A lot of people think they're just man eaters or killing machines, but that's not true though, because a lot of people hear about these um, urban stories that go back so many years that a lot of people thought they were true but when they finally come to realization they realize that none of that was true it's just an exaggeration it doesn't make sense you know and then you when you find out the truth sometimes it's the truth can be stranger than fiction and the fact that I've been blessed being surrounded by these amazing animals for literally as long as I can remember I've kind of I've kind of ignored it you know but you know, then for the last few years now, I've, I've, I've had my full attention on them. And it just really is, like I said, it's an amazing gift that I've had for as long as I can remember. So, and if you guys out there want to do what I do, you know, it's kind of like saying, like, you know, like, what, what's your niche, you know? That's your goal. It's like to figure out your niche. And I feel like I'm starting to figure that out here, you guys. I've started to figure out what my niche is. And... It's, it's with animals, you know, because I feel like these animals, to me, they're not just therapy animals at all, you guys. They're kind of like my own kids that I'm raising. And the fact that these animals, they trust me, you know, they really do trust me. Because if they didn't trust me, you guys, I don't think they would be here right now. I mean, Lucy, you can tell, she's looking at me because she knows that I give her food. So she kind of trusts me, you know. And I do practice socializing with her by hand, handling her gently. And she knows that I'm not going to hurt her. You know, maybe when she was a baby, you know, maybe a few months old, she was at first freaked out because she didn't know what I was. But after some time of socializing with her and feeding her, she's kind of started to realize that, hey, he, he's not a threat. So, but that being said, a lot of people do get misinformed about certain animals too. And that's why there are certain people out there in the world, even to this very day, 
out there that want to educate the public to tell them the real facts about these animals. And if you want to become one of them, it's probably best to learn from the best. And I've been learning from the best so far. And it's really been great, you know? So, with that being said, though, I'm just hoping my friend Brian, too, can make a full recovery here pretty soon, you guys. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably just spend a little quality time with these animals, you know? Kind of like to get my mind off things here, the negative stuff, and just focus on these animals, which are my positive vibes here. So if you guys do have a positive vibe out there, cherish it, everyone. Really, it can really, really see maybe what a positive outcome of your life could be. <laughs> I don't know what to say, you guys, but I, we're just starting to notice literally like the first taste of spring here in, in quite a while. I mean, last month we probably had one day where we had our first like 50 degree day in so long and you know and now that we're already into March obviously this is like the month where we do start to see the snow start to melt finally up here and we see temperatures starting to warm back up so I'm probably thinking here within the next month probably most of the snow probably about 75% of it will be gone so and uh, I got something to share with you guys here pretty soon um I'm gonna be leaving here in about another couple weeks for a really cool upcoming event. I'm not going to spoil it just yet for you people, but um, I'll share it with you on the video before I leave. So, but with that being said, everybody, let's just go ahead and um, can we really get this video to like at least, can we at least try to get close to 100 likes for this video if it's possible? Not for me, you guys, but for Brian, for my good friend Brian, because this is just it's just really hard to try and get my mind focused on different things, you know, but with my friend, my literally an inspiration of mine, really going to be having a rough battle here for a while. I just hope he really can beat this disease. I really hope he can. So it really would mean a lot to him, you guys, if you can also maybe share this video to him as well. Let him know that I'm thinking about him, you know, and the rest of my family is too. So with that being said, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and just end this video here early for the night. Well, it's not really night, but it's still day out, but but who cares? All right, enough, enough chit-chat, everyone. I'll see y'all in the next one.